Mm, right now, I will try to explain how to get the information from the so all, all your data from your Sigfox device, my MakerFox 1200 flow from from the device to the cloud. And so what we have to accomplish is to configure this stuff. Um, when you decide to create um, configure the Sigfox in order to get the data from the Sigfox, uh, you have to go to the device list and click on device type and you will have callbacks. What is a callback? Callbacks, it's the way um, Sigfox network get your data, transfer your data from your their, their network, from the Sigfox network to, to one of the um, um, available services. Uh, if you open the documentation, you will see that they support Azure, Amazon, Services, IoT, Kinesis, or Azure Event Hub or IoT Hub. Or you can create a custom callback. If you are doing, uh, if you are planning to do something very big, um, you should definitely use one of these services or another services, but these are easier to use. And instead, if you are doing something for you, I think custom callback is, or if you want to debug something, I think custom callback is enough. Basically, I what I, for what I, I understood, it's like a um, HTTP messages. So, but I decided to use Amazon IoT, AWS IoT. AWS IoT. So, to better um, create a good tutorial, since it's a long process and I can't spend, and I want, don't want to configure again all the stuff, this link is a good one to, if you follow this link accurately, accurately you will would be able to send messages for your board from the from the Arduino Microfox to to the IS IoT cloud. So let's see. We decide to go to device type, click callbacks, and click new. Once you are there, you can choose one of the services. You choose AWS IoT, and then you can select basic or cross account configuration method select cross account and click launch stack there once there you will be open a new uh, Amazon page if you are a Amazon developer you should be able to to use this um, uh, this um, page if not you have to register to use it then you will have already specified an Amazon S3 template tool. Click next and follow. Um, take note uh, of some. Um, you have to take note of some data uh, that will you, you. They will ask you the next second uh, screen. So. For example, they call the, the AWS, AWS account ID, the stack name, you can specify a name. Let's see, Fox IoT connector is okay. And the external ID. This is one that you can find in the um, uh, Sigfox um, page. So right now it's all configured maybe i can do edit even if i'm scared to touch 
anything of this. Okay, there is my URL, my external ID, and other stuff. Let's go on with the tutorial. Okay, you have to specify the region where where are you using all your Amazon services. For example, I use it the London one, so it's a it's a E U minus uh, East minus two uh, or West. Well, I don't remember. And the topic name. So it's the the topic where the detail will be published and then you have to click next and then um, check some other um, checkbox click on some checkbox and then click create and once after some minutes you have a new entry if you click on the outputs you will find uh, these data um you have to copy these all these stuff on the back to the um, Sigfox console on the page. And also in JSON body you have to copy this stuff. It's the way the Sigfox network these are the J this is the JSON. The Sigfox network will send from to to the service you provided. For example, in this case, it's Amazon IoT, uh, AWS IoT. So this JSON is then done. It will be something like that, like this. And you have to click OK. And then you have not already completed it. But you should see something here. And now you have all the data that are received by IOS WT IoT, but you don't uh, you have to connect these small block to some of the other Amazon services. And in this case, I this I use the uh, DynamoDB, it's a NoSQL DB um, and in, you have to decide how the data will be stored in the in this table in the database so you have to provide click on create add animal table provide a name provide a partition key and a timestamp to timestamp as a, a sorting key then you have to create a rule. So uh, once you have created the table, you have to create a rule to to move the information for IoT to the table. So um, you have to go to AWS AWS IoT console, create a new rule. It will be you will see on the left. Let's check it out. Check it this out. AWS in MS IoT okay EU West minus two and then you will see something like that you create a rule put us a name and a description and you then have to Decide the SQL version. It's important. It's not just something. It's a number, random number. So pay attention. Okay, this is our SIOT, and we can click on Get Started. And you on the left, you will see Act. And Act is the rules. Now I created the rules. So let's continue with the tutorial. And then you have to say rule. Query statement, select text, uh, everything from Sigfox and filter from Sigfox. So, this is the topic we decided to create uh, before. And then create our action. And what it should do, it should create a message into DynamoDB. 
but in this um, at this moment we can also create another rule for example to send our messages to a push notification or another services or for example call another services with lambda or or create a maybe you want to um, create a, an action that produces something somewhere and this is the, the nice thing of uh, this rule but for now I decided to create a method into DynamoDB table and then you have to bind the, the two resources and so you specify which table which information and then when you have finished you click add action you should see something like that and indeed if I go here and maybe it's not really synchronize but what they have is oh okay I have one message more message so if I click here there is one message I received some time ago this is all the JSON we decided to, to build and right now this is the first uh, an old version there was just one moisture sensor this is um, 37 it's a um, actually the code of it's a x 37 and 36 3b 3b is so if we see a sheet table these three data are come on i'm uploading so it's a little bit slow and if we go if we go here and we check the x three seven and three six is um, seven and six so it's seventy six and the three b is this it's a the separator I decided to use so that's it.